it's rolling. It's rolling. All right, hey everybody, this is Doug Pinner with Daily Energy and Anytime Fitness North Peoria. We got Karen Cooper, our fitness coordinator, our account specialist, Brittany Jackson, coach John Bupa, and our head coach at the club, Patrick Thompson. My name's Doug Pinner, I'm the owner of Anytime Fitness Peoria, and we're in lovely Lake Placid this week. Uh, for our national conference, right behind us, where you see the uh, Olympic flags in the building in the back, is where the 1980 Winter Olympics went down, where the men uh, defeated Russia 4-3 to three and won the gold medal. And we got to uh, speak, or hear from one of the uh, players on that team that hit one of, uh, I think hit the winning shot, mm -hmm. uh, Mike Aruzion yesterday and his message was rather inspiring he spoke a lot about opportunities so that's what we're going to talk uh, about tonight is the opportunity if you are still waiting for that time to get off the couch and get your fitness goals in order uh, maybe think about the opportunity that's in front of you today and instead of waiting for tomorrow so uh, Pat here at the conference what's uh, what does opportunity mean for you and in looking down scope for you and your clients at the club. Right. Well, I think for opportunity, if you are able to do something, but you also have to have that will to do it. So if you're able to do something and you know that you need to do it, you should probably be doing it. Yeah, I agree. It's uh, If you continue to uh, procrastinate and put things off to tomorrow and so on, you know, you might as well, it's like that the phone call you got to make or you know you're getting called into a meeting that you know may not be uh, the most comfortable once you rip that band-aid off if you will it feels a lot better Karen how's the conference going for you doing great I know you're talking about maybe coming out here with your family and doing some of the activities right Absolutely. so I love the fact that I mean New York uh, Lake Placid I thought would be more city more suburban and this is just unbelievable with the mountains and, and the people here are so friendly. But you're incorporating doing some healthy things and looking to bring your family out here on vacation, right? Yeah, absolutely. So if you look out, then you can't look out now, but if you could, <laughs> you'd see all these gorgeous mountains. And like you said, this was where the Winter Olympics were. So obviously there's some great skiing. Uh, my husband and I like to take the kids skiing once a year. We have it for a couple years, so why not come to New York and then just take a drive into other things too so so yeah. so uh, in the background here we'll pan around here in just a little bit I mean the mountains are majestic we're actually going as a group uh, to a bonfire cookout and we're going to go to the downhill ski jump and we're actually going to do tubing on that right Brittany you are. <laughs> <laughs> well I'm going to get you a beer or two and I want you to think about it maybe a shot and then we'll see if we can get you on the raft <laughs> How are you enjoying Lake Placid? I'm really enjoying it. It's very lodgy. Um, home away from home a little bit, I feel like. I don't feel like I'm so far away when I look out into all of this. So it's nice and refreshing. And we're talking about incorporating some new things at the club. Uh, we'll announce those new uh, launches later this year. Uh, but we were talking about maybe, I don't know if there's an interest out there, but doing like a family class. Uh, mother-daughter, father-daughter type thing. So what do you do with Briar right now? You guys go on walks and things of that nature? Yeah, we do. Um, and Briar loves to dance, so that would be something right up our alley if I could spend a little time while getting my own fitness in on top of that. So, so if you're out there listening, uh, Daily Energy, Doug Pinner, um, let us know what you would like to do with your son or daughter. One excuse, if you will, that we hear all the time is we never have time. Family, work, I mean, grocery, shopping, sports. If there's something that we could provide to you and your family to get you off the couch, what would that be? And I challenge you that. Boo, John, yes. what's going yes, on, buddy? Living the dream out here. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? What's your favorite part of Lake Placid so far? Um, Just being out here. Uh, I never make moments in my life to where I appreciate and live in the moment so being able to do that has been the best part for me this place uh, the people are friendly we just ate over at pickled pig or yeah. whatever <laughs> everyone's super nice the the scenery is like something Bob Ross would draw and you know pretty little trees and streams and 
uh, we were talking on the drive back to the house to get ready to come back down how many people are outside riding bikes and hiking and trout fishing mm -hmm. and just outdoorsy and and that if we had this in Peoria would you spend more time doing that I mean we have beautiful trails and hiking uh, trails in Peoria so I strongly encourage you if again you're still sitting around thinking about your health not sure what to do if you're looking for a coach here they are these people are are it uh, so I can't say enough good things there's a lot of energy here in Lake Placid with anytime fitness we're learning a lot the word that keeps coming up is opportunity so I look and I challenge all of you to look for the opportunity in your life and how you can incorporate health and wellness into that I want to take a stronger stance on that opportunity if you don't mind I do not mind <laughs> Okay. I, I would like to say you know we say in life uh, to look or, or wait for the right opportunity and I think you know that that's what you do with luck you you wait for luck or you you look for good luck in your life when it comes to opportunity I think you need to make the opportunity because it's not going to be provided for you it never will make the opportunity yeah don't open doors smash their own yep. man Pat we were just at the cabin and Pat <laughs> check it out thank you that was very insightful thanks John is the most serious fun guy you'll ever be around uh, he'll really break it down for you but Pat we we're at the cabin and he comes walking around the corner carrying a dead tree what the hell were you doing doing some squats some overhead presses some curls for the girls some rows um, knock out about 100 reps on each or so and it's like a little sweating after sitting around all day yeah yeah learning though that's the key learning getting some great advice here from Anytime Fitness Corporate. Just making a stop and we're not trying to sell memberships. What we want to do is we want to help promote a healthier lifestyle. Uh, whether it's you just simply send us a message asking for a tip or two, we'll get back to you. Check us out, Anytime Fitness Peoria on Facebook, Daily Energy on Facebook. Uh, give us a call, we'll be able to, to help you out. So, Karen, are you going down rafting? Who's yeah. in on rafting? <laughs> Who's in on rafting right now? I'm in. I don't know. They said you have to sign a waiver just because you're... Who's getting pushed? <laughs> I don't... Me? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I see. I see. So, uh, right here to the left uh, of where we're sitting, there were five world records uh, done by a gentleman. I didn't know this until last night, but he raced every other day and he set five world records, won five mm -hmm. golds. The stories are inspirational and they all involve health and wellness and I can say you know almost weighing 300 pounds I would not be able to do the things I do today uh, riding my bike with my family and my kids or working out I enjoy that it's a stress reliever so we're only like 75 days away from Thanksgiving so we're coming up on a new year you don't want to hear that but it's coming so were you the one that was saying this is the year you're going to get your health and wellness in check but not doing anything about it. Uh, if that's you, consider a health club, whether it's Anytime Fitness, Peoria, or anywhere. Get up off the couch and get moving. Boop, what's a couple things that uh, inspire you to work out? Why do you work out? Um, one, I shouldn't say, uh, because I shouldn't really transform that in the minds of others, but it's a little bit of self-consciousness for me. Um, if I don't make it to the gym, I get real self-conscious about um, lack of effort, lack of work that I put in for the day, so part of that drives me. Um, the other is just living um, and leading by example. You know, we are the inspiration for a lot of people, and I'd like to think that a lot of people inspire us, so we have to fight together in everything that we do, and we have to experience the things that they experience, so that drives me just as much. Yeah, I think the easy thing to do is just quit and just stop if you're uncomfortable with something. But the people that really change lives and, and set the tone for the rest of us to follow actually go against the grain for quite a while. We heard a speaker this morning. What was his name? Gary uh, V. Gary B? Gary, Gary Vaynerchuk. But they call him Gary V for short because a lot of people can't pronounce his name. <laughs> yeah, he's a genius. Uh, check him out on YouTube. He gave a very inspirational speech. And again, it's all about the opportunity, whether it's the opportunity to make yourself better or lead by example for your spouse or your family 
uh, whatever it is that may drive you, uh, just sit down and think about what you can do in a short amount of time uh, with a little bit of effort and guidance, right? I mean, I heard about the do-it-yourselfers out there. It's a very small group. Congrats to you if you're one of them. But Karen, why is coaching so important? Um, motivation. I mean, you have to have someone to tell you. You know, a lot of people come into the gym and they don't know what to do. So if they have someone to tell you, do this, okay, now, come on, let's go do this. You're spending a lot less time in the gym getting things done in the order it should be getting done. And someone's watching you, so you gotta do a good job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of that analogy of you take your car to an oil place to get the oil changed, Love that one. and you really don't argue with them other than maybe overpricing or you feel like you're getting gypped or whatever uh, if they find something, but you take it to the experts, and, and here are the experts. Uh, Brittany, uh, tell us a little bit about what you do over the winter months uh, to stay in shape or watch what you're eating. I know you were talking earlier about making some healthier meals and planning for the week? Uh, yeah, especially with crockpot meals. During the winter I do healthy crockpot meals um, and they will last us actually quite a few days. I just have to them up, but I we like to do lean meats and chickens. Um, and then I live in a farmhouse, so I usually put Briar in my laundry basket and take her up and down the stairs with me <laughs> and I get a workout in. Dang! Yeah, <laughs> she's 22 pounds, so I've got some guns over here. You better watch out. <laughs> We'll sell tickets to the gun show later for everybody. They're pricey. Real pricey. Um, so, uh, boy, kind of drawing a little well, bit of a blank here. but A little on the opportunity side, you, you talked about a little bit ago. When they talked about the opportunity here at the conference, they said they gave the abbreviation MF, and that can say for a lot of things. But one of the things that they said that it stood for was family, and that um, – when you have an opportunity to do something for yourself, whether it's to get, get uh, medication down, be able to run further, be able to increase revenue in a business, be able to uh, just do whatever it is for, for your family. And that was one thing that um, Chuck Runyon, the CEO of Anytime Fitness said was, if you have the opportunity, your family should be a huge motivator to go out and do something because yeah. it's right there in front of you. You gotta have the support system, don't you guys say? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if you don't have the support system to tell you to get up off the couch to, to go for the walk or the run, uh, Karen, you're getting ready for a marathon, right? Yep. So what, what does uh, your support system for the marathon look like? Um, mainly, probably my husband, Brian. Uh, usually when he's not building me a new house, he's riding with me every weekend on my long runs on his bike, carrying all my fuel and my energy drinks. It's just, for me, it's, I have to do it. I have to do it for me, and I have to do it. I don't want, I want to be in shape for him and for my kids and for my job. And so after a run or during the run, what do you experience? Is it a zen-like? I mean, you get, what what happens? <laughs> for six, how far do you run? Like 38 miles or something? How? It's 26.2 <laughs> miles in the marathon. <laughs> it takes about wow. four or four and a half hours. Uh, but on training, I mean, you just, you go through, every emotion in, in the book. I mean, I don't cry ever unless I'm running a marathon. There's times when I'm crying, I'm laughing, I'm in pain, and then I feel great. And then I, it's just like, it's my opportunity to be bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. There you go. And it's okay. It's perfectly fine. It's fine. You go through everything, ups and downs. So the sun's setting a little bit earlier. Uh, the holidays are coming up. The new year is right around the corner. It's uh, September 9th. Uh, so I'm, I'm challenging all of you. Take a look at yourself in the mirror. If you don't, when I looked in the mirror when I was 300 and I, I decided to make a change, it was a person that I knew, but I wasn't seeing myself. That, that was not me. Uh, it's not, I was limited on what I could do and that was frustrating and I just didn't feel I didn't feel good about myself. So now that I started to work out, and I don't work out every day. I, I work out, if I'm lucky, three days a week. And I think the, the accountability is huge on your nutrition and going to a health club uh, to have someone to answer to, writing your goals down. I think when you write goals down, it really sinks in a little bit more. Uh, 
and gives you some motivation. You got to be patient too in the process, right? I mean, how long should someone expect until they start seeing results? John? It all depends on the person. How much yeah. they're working out? Yep. How much they are, how far away they are from their goals, um, how aggressive they are. A good motivation. sustainable answer to that is you shouldn't lose more than two pounds a week to keep it off. If you, do, if you don't want to do crash diets, you don't want to go in the gym for six hours every day, if you lose two pounds a week, that's a healthy amount, and you're not going over, you're not going under, that's just where you're at, and that's sustainable. Coaching is key. Let the experts write the programs. You tell them what you want, and it, it's kind of like buying a car. You tell the, the dealership what you want, and they're going to find that car for you that you're comfortable in, that uh, has you know, the fuel mileage you're looking for. These people will write the programs. They'll give you the, the tips on the nutrition. And it's not an overnight change. This is a, a lifestyle change. Anytime Fitness Peoria is not an overnight, uh, come in, lose weight. That's not us, that's not our members. Uh, when you come in the doors of Anytime Fitness Peoria, you're going to see people that are just starting on a journey. Whether it's losing weight or just heart healthy. We had a gentleman last year come in my office and he dropped his membership and I asked him why. And he said he's in congestive heart failure and he would already be dead had he not started working out three months prior to finding all this information out. He just came back in about two months ago and joined. He's putting weight back on. He's back to exercising. His heart is strong enough after the surgery. I mean, if he can do it, anybody can do it. Get the support system. Work with an expert in the field. They're going to help you. It's not all about selling you. It's about getting real goals in front of you, holding you accountable. People don't like to be held accountable, especially when it comes to health and wellness. That's easy to push to the back burner but just try it out just try it for a month what do you got to lose give them a shot if you come into anytime fitness peoria we have a 30-day get started fitness consultation that's where you get to sit down with one of the experts and ask questions i don't know nutrition that's why i ask these guys all the time what i should be eating it's not a an overhaul it's not so black and white it's it's slow and steady will win the race it's incorporating small things into uh, your day-to-day -day living that'll add livable long years to your life. So, But what if someone doesn't have time to work out? You so. gotta make time. The CEO of Anytime Fitness, uh, what was it? We are the, the top growing franchise two years in a row. Yep. The CEO has time to work out. The even president if, yeah. works out. I mean, Even if it's two or three days a week. You just, in our uh, lecture that we heard Karen and John and I heard today if you have the opportunity in front of you you have the motivation right there and then maybe you hit a wall with your scheduling or something like that sit back reevaluate take 30 minutes on one day of the week or 10 minutes during a certain day and schedule in a workout for your week or your day and just get it done then you'll get back in that habit that's one thing that I took from our lecture earlier today Another thing is people are always like, well, it's, it's expensive to join a health club. I don't buy that. Uh, I think if you take care of your health now, think about all the medication you're going to save later on. I mean, that, that's just one example. Your insurance, if you go in and get a wellness check and your, your stats tend to favor you, your insurance rates can go down. There's all sorts of benefits, but most importantly, you gotta do it for yourself because it's not an easy road and sometimes, you know, if you're doing it for someone else, it might be easy to quit on them. But if it's for yourself and you gotta face yourself every single day, I think it'll help drive you to become a better person. So, um, what else you got to add, guys? I mean, this, this is just unbelievable. We're in Lake Placid, uh, getting short some drive. inspiration. A real short drive. <laughs> like 17 hours short. <laughs> Brittany wasn't talking in the back. Come to find out eight hours in, I asked her why she wasn't talking. She said she couldn't hear anything because the speaker was right in her ear and we were jamming. <laughs> Sorry about that. While she was reading Sorry, a thousand reading. page book. Yeah. Good. <laughs> uh, my goodness, I'm not looking forward to the drive back home. I'm not. 
I'm excited to get back home. I miss my family, and that's why I work out. You know, one of the MFs is my family for me. That's why I work out uh, to keep up with my twins that are nine years old. They're extremely active, and before I really struggled. You know, going up and down stairs, man. I mean, I couldn't really. It hurt sometimes. Yeah. So, go out for a walk. Park further away from the front door. If it's raining out, go to the mall and walk around Northwoods or wherever you might be. Uh, you and I, today, we had the option to get in the car or walk up a steep hill, and we chose to walk up the steep hill. Actually, I voted car. She said, come <laughs> on, let's walk up this hill. And that's where a uh, support system comes into play. Like, if you're just doing it by yourself, you're probably going to choose a short route, but if you have someone next yeah. to you or a group of people, they're going to as a whole be like let's do this instead and you do that it's gonna be beneficial for you yeah I, I agree I think if you find a friend or just ask a co-worker hey you want to go on a walk I'm sure they want to go on a walk just as much as you exactly. and when you're done it, it's good endorphins that you're releasing you're going to be a little bit more productive I would think in the afternoon help think a little straighter and then maybe when you go home instead of sitting on the couch you might be a little bit more productive when you get home maybe go outside and play with the kids uh, or, or do something. Do it for you, find the support system. It was fun, we were laughing. Yeah. Someone ran by us and I was yelling show off at him <laughs> only because he had earplugs in other, and he was much bigger than me. I mean, he would have beat me up, but. Uh, beat me up, Scotty. Yeah, so being around this Olympic uh, site, what type, I mean, it's just inspirational to be around. It makes I mean, you wanna achieve your goals, go for those goals, because these people that got these medals worked so hard for that, and I don't know if they get the satisfaction of getting the medal, but just more that they completed what they came here to do, and they're proud of themselves for getting to that place. That's how I feel, that's what I take from it. Well, thanks. What about you, Karen? I'm going to be receiving an Olympic medal when I come back here to ski, so <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I already asked Karen to wear an HD camera when she gets pushed down the hill. So we'll put that up. What about you, Pat? What was the question again? What inspires what? me? No, no. What do you feel just being around this Olympic uh, venue? Oh, well, at first, I mean, it was just like in another place. I mean, it's similar to uh, Breckenridge, Colorado, or anywhere out in Washington State. But last night when we listened to the gentleman who scored the game when he goal for the team, the 1980 uh, hockey Olympic team that won gold, he was giving all these examples how um, they, they're they young, they're only 20, 21 years old, and the Russians were in their 30s professional um, professional hockey players, and that he was just like, we have this opportunity right in front of us, why not go out there and do it, and who cares, if we lose, we lose, if we win, we're, they went down as the, the greatest sports team or, or sports game, and U.S. history in the last decade, or excuse me, century, but I mean, if you have that opportunity in front of you, go out and do it, and that was one thing that I, I mean, there's so many things that I want to do that I haven't done, and you just got to activate it. You got to gotta make a plan. Yeah. You got to prioritize, and then you got to go do it. Exactly. John, what about you? What's it like being here? Uh, I think it just symbolizes progress. Everything that we're around is all about progress, whether it be just the Olympic Village, if you want to call it. It's all about progress and how you work towards your goals. Um, if it's about the co uh, the com conference here, that's about progress as well, how we can always do better, and listening to some of these inspirational stories, um, especially Mike with his name last Mike. night, right? That was all about progress. and. If you don't have progress in your life, there's no there's no such thing as uh, having a stalemate. You're either progressing or falling behind. It's up to you, right? What you want to do? You want to move forward, or you want to stay still and get laughed? I don't. For me, being here at conference, it's it's really nice meeting other owners, other staff members, and we're all very. It's a it's a unique group here. I mean, there's a lot of uniqueness uh, with this crew, not just us, but as, as a whole. And it's just nice, it's supportive. And the only thing I can think of is I relate it back to going to the health club. It's, it was a little scary. I mean, there's thousands of us here. It's a little intimidating to go in a room and not know any, anybody, but it's unbelievable how many people just stop and ask, 
where we're from, how we're doing, what, what are we doing well, what can they learn from us, and what can we learn from them, and it correlates directly back for me to what the health club is. Uh, when you come in and you see Jamel talking to a member and giving a high five, or Sam, uh, our Bleed Purple member of the year last year, just going out of her way to make sure someone is enjoying their time there. Yeah, you can actually have fun. It's not all horrible working out. We actually have fun and we laugh and we high five. It, it kind of ties that back together for me as I need a support group just as much as everybody else does, whether it's in my business or family or exercising. And, and it, it's comforting knowing you know, I just visited with a, a new franchisee this morning. He is just, he's, he's sweating bullets. He doesn't know if he's going to make it. And I tell him, you're going to make it. You'll, you'll make good decisions. People want to be around a positive environment. And as much bad rap as health clubs get, you know, meatheads, jocks, grunting in front of mirrors, there's a lot of good people out there that are willing to answer questions and be your support system if you don't have one at home. So for me to come here, it's just refreshing. It rejuvenates um, my approach towards the business and more importantly, making people's lives better by incorporating health and wellness into it. After a run, Karen, what, what's that like? You're able to clear your mind. I mean, what, what goes through your mind? Are, oh I mean, besides all the emotional, <laughs> don't start crying now. <laughs> And Karen, it's funny, she, she's, last time I think you were on the radio, you challenged me to start running. So I'll either bike or run at least twice a week. If I bike, it's about 15, 20 miles. Uh, but I had to start off at a mile on the bike and then running, you're like, oh, you'll love it. I'm like, you're crazy. There's no way I'm going to love it. Um, in the, the week I don't bike, I run. And sometimes a mile, at first I could only run and I'd be like, oh, Karen, I got this ache on my head. You got this just just up. Up. Yeah, I was like, that's, that's it? That's your only advice? But it does. You got to start somewhere. These Olympians that won gold medals, you think, you think the gentleman that set five world records out here just was gifted? And I mean, yeah, gifted, obviously, but yeah, hard work, work, determination, uphill battle, right? Training. Yeah. And it's, it's just not an exercise, it's in your life, you know, your job, it's challenging, you got stresses and how you deal with those are all up to you. Whether you move forward or you stay complacent and you get passed up. I'm just so excited, uh, tomorrow we got uh, more awards. One of the My Story Awards last night that was given out was to a gentleman named Matt. He's a veteran. Um, he lost his daughter. He was deployed two weeks later. He asked not to be. He was still deployed. Um, then when he was deployed, he, his wife left him. They got divorced. He was at his heaviest. He came back. He was just, it was a tough time for him. And then to see him up on stage last night, he goes and gives all these speeches and really motivates people. And he took what so many people would ride negative right into the grave, and he's done so much inspirational, uh, touch so many lives. It can be done, you just gotta get started. If you don't start, it'll never happen, so. All right, you guys, uh, these guys, Pat's giving me the one minute. These guys are so amped up to push me down this damn ski <laughs> jump thing in this raft. I'm sure I'll get a video of it. It'll be up on Daily Energy and Anytime Fitness Peoria. We're live in Lake Placid at the 1980 Olympic site. It's really moving. Uh, if you ever get the opportunity, strongly, highly recommend coming on out here. It's like we said, a short 17 hour car ride. So make sure you find some friends and family to come out with you. Karen, if you got a message, everybody, if you got one message to these people, we'll leave you with. What's something inspiring that you tell someone that's watching this show for the very first time, just to try? Um, well, first thing is we learned 
yesterday when they spoke. Put your heart into it. Don't do it halfway. Mm -hmm. Have a positive mindset. The more positive you think, the more positive your outcome will be. Don't be intimidated. Don't be scared. Do yeah. it. 1980, big hockey team coach. Respect yourself. Respect your competitors. Respect people that just around you, and then good things will happen. And I'm going to say, get up off your ass and start doing something. <laughs> if you're not happy, if you were the one that said you're going to make a change this year and you haven't made a change, well, guess what? The year's not over. You can still do it. So this is Doug Penner with Anytime Fitness Peoria and Daily Energy with Karen Cooper, Brittany Jackson, John Bufa, Patrick Thompson. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, let's pan around, show these people. Yeah, up. stay tuned. W watch this. Shout out to Lisa G's best smoked food pork <laughs> tacos ever. <laughs> Healthy. Yeah. Can you see that, Pat? That yeah, looks good. You can edit that out. <laughs> Full pork tacos. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in from Lake Placid Daily Energy. See you later. It's still rolling. I gotta figure out how to stop it. Can you see the Olympic building? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Beast dude, get out of the shot! I don't wanna X out of that. <laughs>